Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, this story here, Paul Pelosi's attacker, David DePape, blurts out conspiracy theories as he's sentenced to life without parole for his hammer attack. Now, it's kind of crazy. You might think life without parole for just attacking a man with a hammer is insane considering most of all other crimes in San Francisco sort of are swept under the rug and the DA lets you go and, um, you know, it's, you're allowed to do crime, it seems, in San Francisco or California as a whole. But not when you're going after the Democrats, especially if you're going after Pelosi. The, uh, the George Soros-funded DAs, they will actually do their job, it seems. So, a Canadian man who broke into former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's home and bludgeoned her husband with a hammer continued to spew conspiracy theories as he was sentenced for a second time. So at this point, it's probably important to remind you to follow me at Third Railify on YouTube, on Twitter, and on Rumble, I do all my live streaming on Rumble. So uh, be, be sure to follow me there so you can see all of the shenanigans because there's a lot that doesn't make it to uh, YouTube. So he was sentenced for a second time. Federally, he got 30 years, if I'm not mistaken. 30 years for his shenanigans. That's already pretty much the, the end of his life uh, as, as he is 44. And so now, I don't know, to. Um, Put the cherry on top. It's a life without parole. This, this, this guy's life is over. So David DePap, uh, 44, was sentenced Tuesday to life in prison without the possibility of parole following a separate state trial. A San Francisco jury in June found him guilty of charges, including aggravated kidnapping, first-degree burglary, and false imprisonment of an elder. So you might be wondering, well, where, where does life in prison come from, especially because, as, as I had said, most crimes are just not prosecuted. It's almost lawless. It's California has become the Wild West again, it seems. Like, murderers are, just, are often just let go. Or they spend a week in jail, and they're like, oh, there's overcrowding. Don't do it again. And then they're on their way. So aggravated kidnapping can result in life in prison without the possibility of parole if the point of the kidnapping was to do another crime. And so they say, well, he kidnapped so he could do first degree burglary. As a result, a false imprisonment of an elder happened. So that, I guess, technically makes sense if, uh, if, if you're following the, the letter of the law and going to the hardest maximum punishment that is possible. Now, usually, first-degree burglary, some, that will often get you two or four or six years. But again, if you do your first-degree burglary with the intent of doing another crime, which they could easily say the, the aggravated kidnapping or the false imprisonment was, then that can actually extend that crime longer. And then lastly, the false imprisonment of an elder, usually, you know, you get Three or so years for that, but it doesn't matter. Your four or six or however many years for first degree burglary or three years for false imprisonment of an elder, it doesn't matter because they have you on aggravated kidnapping. The pape dressed in a prison orange and uh, with his brown hair in a ponytail spoke at length about September 11th being an inside job. His ex wife being replaced by a body double and his government provided attorneys conspiring against him during the hearing. Now, the, the problem with some of this is, what if he's right? What if he's right? Let's pretend for a moment that September 11th was not an inside job. Let's pretend for a moment his wife wasn't replaced by a body double. But... What if it's true that the government did conspire against him in, um, in, the, in, in the trial? Well, you've, you've put two crazy things beside a real thing. And those two crazy things have delegitimized the one thing that might be true. So no one is obviously going to believe it. And that's too bad. Also, 
the government being like, you know what? Uh, we want you guys to make sure this guy never sees the light of day ever again. And they go, you got it, boss. Dude, that, that's, not, that's not even a bridge too far. That's, that's reasonable, in fact. So anyways, plowing ahead. This guy says, I'm a psychic. The more I meditate, the more psychic I get, the pape told the court, reading from his sheets of paper. Now, apparently, this guy talked for a really, really long time. And the judge was like, nope, that's it. You've talked for like an hour. You got to shut up. You're done. The convictions on the additional charges in the state uh, trial came weeks after a federal judge sentenced the pape to 30 years in federal prison. In a letter read in court by the victim's daughter, Christine Pelosi, Paul Pelosi called for the maximum sentence, saying the last uh, peaceful sleep he had ended abruptly when the defendant violently broke into my home, burst into my bedroom, and stood over my bed with a hammer and zip ties, demanding to see my wife, yelling, where's Nancy? He said the attack left him with bumps on his head, a metal plate in it, a dizziness, and nerve damage to his left hand. Now, of course, there is all, all the, uh, the, the conspiracies or the jokes or the whatever about it being some kind of gay booty thing. And, uh, you know, those, those jokes are, are funny. In all likelihood, it wasn't a gay booty thing. It was probably the way that they said it was. Although, would a gay booty thing really be that surprising in San Francisco politics? I don't think it would be. Apparently, it's not even all that weird or surprising in uh, the rap game. If you look at everything that Diddy has done. Before issuing the sentence, uh, Judge Harry Dorfman does, dismissed arguments from DePape's attorneys that uh, he can be granted a new trial. For the 2022 attack against Paul Pelosi, who was 82 year old at the time. It's my intention that Mr. DePape uh, will never get out of prison. He can never be paroled, Dorfman said. He's basically like, that is my friend, my Democrat friend. You will pay the ultimate price. One of the defense attorneys, Adam Lipson, asked Dorfman before the sentence was handed down to consider DePape's mental health and isolation that made him susceptible to online propaganda. This is a man who's always been a peaceful, law-abiding person up until his activation, Lipson said. I mean, originally, the Pape was a far leftist, a Canadian far leftist. And if you know anything about Canada, you know that Canadian conservatives, typically speaking, your your, um, average wallpaper paste plain boring conservative is the equivalent of a center left american democrat and this guy was way 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 left crazy living in like hippie nudist communes like super left so somehow somehow he uh, managed to become a right wing crazy i i don't know how that happened i i, I bet he's still a left wing crazy that somehow saw some truth in some things, like Building 7 just came down all by itself with no help from anyone. I mean, office furniture does burn really hot, you know. The October 28th, 2022 attack on Paul Pelosi was captured on police body camera video just days before the midterm elections. The paper admitted he planned to hold Nancy Pelosi uh, hostage and break her kneecap, but made her husband take the punishment when it emerged that she wasn't home. He told the court, I wanted to ask her a question about Russia Gate and film it and post it online. See, I'm telling you, the leftist media that that spouts that it just spouts propaganda and nonsense and lies. It drives people insane. I was planning to wear the unicorn costume and record it with the body camera I got. I kind of her expected to go along with me and tell me what I wanted to hear. Uh, records of the papes uh, purchases from Amazon in the three months before the attacks revealed a list of items he reportedly took with him to the crime scene. They included a camping backpack, computer cables, body cameras, crayons, and bizarrely, two spectacular unicorn costumes. The pape added that after he hit Pelosi, he felt really bad for him. He told the court when he was on the ground bleeding, I was really scared for his life. 
I felt really bad for him because we had a really good rapport until like the last second. <laughs> Uh, until I beat him in the head with a hammer, we were getting on just fine. <laughs> uh, I reacted because my plan was basically ruined. He was never the target, and I'm sorry he got hurt. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's a wackadoo. Prosecutors played the body camera footage of the attack in the paper, watched it without flinching. The graphic footage of the hammer attack showed an officer shining a flashlight confronting the pape with uh, Pelosi in the doorway. As the two struggled, the pape uh, raises his hammer and smashes uh, Pelosi over the head, striking him three times to the ground. Another video showed blood gushing from Pelosi's head with his hands soaked red as paramedics tended to him. Well, I mean, that, that, is, that is the article. Life in prison. I, I believe, well, while technically speaking, He's not overcharged, or sorry, oversentenced, rather, because as, as we've discussed, right, the um, aggravated kidnapping, the maximum is life in prison without parole, if there's other crimes attached to it. But that's, that's not the norm, though. Like, they've gone way, way, way to the super far end of the spectrum. Yes, they can. They're allowed to do it. They don't ever do it, though. Usually, it's a, sl a slap on the dick and away you go. So it's kind of crazy. But then again, he attacked a Democrat and you don't attack a Democrat without feeling the Democrat's wrath, I guess. Also, let's not forget that uh, one Pelosi uses her, her power to gain incredible massive wealth. Why am I bringing it up? I, no reason. I just I don't want you to forget that. Like Pelosi is the best investor of all time. Like N Nancy Pelosi is just like somehow a god at uh, financial investing, it seems. Um, also, that um, Paul Pelosi one time was um, drinking and driving and got into a bit of a car crash or, or, or a little bit of whatever, and um, his young lady friend or whatever, I suspect she was probably a hooker, um, she like ran away. She was like, ah, she, she ran away, and they're like, oh, who is that? And he's like, nobody, my friend. It's fine. So that's that's why I think it wasn't uh, wasn't about like gay stuff or whatever, because he's probably into much younger hookers. Anyways, I don't think he really got charged for that. I mean, he went in front of a judge. I think they should shoot it underneath uh, the rug or whatever, as you would expect, really. And uh, that's that. Anyways, wrapping this thing up. I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll uh, we'll see you guys again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.